Hey guys, what's going on? Today we are going to be talking about one of the closest spiral galaxies to the Milky Way. It is called the Triangulum Galaxy. Now, the Triangulum Galaxy ain't exactly a shape of a triangle. No. It's not supposed to be shape of a triangle. No. Okay. So. Its destination is about M33. Alright, so M33. The other destination is NGC 598. Or 598. Okay, so. It lies about 3 billion light years away in the constellation Triangulum. That's probably why the galaxy is named after Triangulum. I'm just not sure why. Hmm. Who knows? But so on. The closest spiral to the Triangulum galaxy is called the Andromeda. Well, if you want to check out my Andromeda and the Milky Way, like I said guys, make sure you check out my channel. So, the closest bottle, like I said, is in the Andromeda Galaxy at a distance of two and a half million light years. All three members of the local group, all three are members of the local group, including the Triangulum, the Andromeda, and the biggest galaxy in the world, or not in the world, the space system is the Milky Way. A collection of about 50 galaxies in our neighborhood of space is called the Roku Group. Okay, so that's the introduction to it. Is the type of galaxy, like I said, spiral, or this way. Mm, just not sure. The, dis the distance is 3 million light years. I don't have to say again, guys. But the diameter is about 16,000 light years. And remember, diameter is this. Like, or say diameter is, say a circle. Circle, and you measure all around the circle. That's called the diameter. So, you guys should know about diameter by now. You guys should. You're going to have to learn about it. Because school is coming up on August 18th for you guys. Middle, high, and elementary, especially elementary guys. You're going to have to learn about diameter. Alright, so I'm just saying to you guys. I'm not really doing anything, I'm just saying. But the mass is about 100 billion solar masses. The stars there is is about 40 billion stars. Hmm, a very good, very good difference against 140. About more than half of the mass of what Triangulum Galaxy has to the number of stars. Very cool. Now. The triangulum is formally described as a spiral galaxy with weak or possibly boo, not central bar and its loosely wounded arms like ouch <laughs> inmates from the galactic core. Now what I'm meaning galactic core is a nebula, a cloud of gas and dust mixed in and boom. You created a nebula. Or should say nebulousness. That is called an H2 region. Areas such as this are prime regions for star formation. Now, when I mean star formation, I mean forming stars. Now, 
When I mean prime region for star formation, the Triangular Galaxy is very active making stars. Its star birth regions scattered throughout its spiral arms. Its star birth rate is several times more than the and the Andromeda. Very interesting. Cool too. Now, Andromeda and the Triangulum Galaxy are linked by streams of hydrogen gas in the bed of stars. And remember guys, like I said, hydrogen is atomic number of one. Of one. One. Now, embedded stars on... Um, okay. Well, embedded stars are... Firmly and deepen in the surrounding mass of stars. So, like, firm stars is what I'm talking about. Yes, so. If you don't know what the beta stars is, they're firm stars. The two galaxies may have a close interaction in the past. And it looks as if they will do so again. In about two and a half billion years. So, yeah, that's probably going to have to be. Yeah, that's probably going to have to be like. <sighs> like, for example, you say the Andromeda and Milky Way are going to merge. Boom. Yep. Now, Astronomers will think that a future merger between Andromeda and the Milky Way will probably affect the Triangulum too, perhaps tearing it apart or cannibalizing it into a larger elliptical galaxy. Okay, so lastly, some observers claim that under very dark skies, you can see it with the naked eye. However, it's more spotted with binoculars or telescope. Alright, so, well, that video is not ending yet, guys, so do not worry if it's getting right end. I know this is the last I've got, but it's still not ending right now. Now, if you guys don't... Now, what I'm going to be talking about in Season 3, Season 3 is going to be in a little bit. After I finish the next ones, including the Pinwheel Galaxy, M87, and Magellan Clouds. With the last being Magellan Clouds on Season 2, also known as Galaxies, guys. Season 3 will be on the Solar System. And we're going to be talking about a little bit into the sun, too. Don't forget, guys. We're going to be talking about a little bit into the sun. We're also going to be talking about the door cloud, the Cupier belt, the asteroid belt. Well, some of you guys know about the asteroid belt, but there are several famous ones, including Cirrus. A very famous asteroid. We're going to be talking about Cirrus sometime here soon. We'll probably talk about that in the asteroid belt. We're also going to be talking about the solar eclipse, comet, and asteroids. I know you guys know about asteroids, but if asteroid hits Earth, boom, every humanity is destroyed. All right, so we're going to be talking about asteroids, comets, solar eclipse, sun, the door cloud, keep your belt, and asteroid belt. We're going to be talking about that in season three. All right, so right before I end this video, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everyone.